strong. I know, it, you know, he's just a destroyer. He got 20 knockouts out of his 25 fights. So I knew that um, I had to do a lot of experience and hustle and hustle out, out hustling with is, my intelligence. Is that why, Tim, you started off going downstairs to the body? I noticed those body shots. You're not a body puncher. Oh, yes, I am. We've got something called the can opener. And we open up cans. Um, you know, so I hit him. I hit him with a couple of body shots. You know, I hit him with a couple of body shots, and I noticed him, uh, uh, you know, twinch a little bit. How about right here? Look at his hands down. Did that did that help this play right into your hand? Let him out. Well, yeah, I heard that sometimes he uh, at different occasions he keeps his hand down, and I know there would be opportunity for me to uh, capitalize on it. Still pretty strong here in this first round, but I noticed in that first he started backing up. And it's right about this point here. He's on top of you. What were you thinking? I, I know that, that he was thinking that I was experienced and I was trying to set him up uh, with something classic, you know. And um, he knew it. He, I think he knew it. That's why he's backing off. He was really, he's really uh, hesitating because he knew right. the guy was going to come at him Step with back, something. Back, he hurt you a few times. I noticed. I, I saw the look in your eyes. Did he, did he tag you hard? Yeah, he hit me and I, I said, man, if, if I don't get him out, I'm going to have to outsmart him. Uh, this is going through my mind because uh, you see the muscles on him. You know, he hit me and I said, whoa, this dude is strong. The last time I felt that before was uh, was with Bone Crusher Smith. Did you feel that inside too when you were in a clinch? Yeah, he was strong. He was strong. His arms was like big. Right here he hurt you. Yeah, he hit me. That body, hit me with two body shots and I felt that. I said, oh, I got to get him out of here. <laughs> we don't like body shots, do we? <laughs> well, you know, um, I got to get in a little bit of better condition, a lot better condition and what I, what, I, what I was in. I was in all right shape. Um, um, you know, I usually body shots don't bother me, but um, that's telling me that I have to prepare a little bit more better. And, and, you, and you were working more on your left hook tonight than I've seen you in the past. Why? Uh, because um, I've noticed that he was left-handed when he signed something. And when we was at the weigh-in, I noticed he was left-handed. These are all the things that, that a, a seasoned fighter recognizes, you know. I noticed he was signing autographs with his left hand. So his right side wouldn't be uh, that calculated or, or, or whatever. So I knew that I could get that left hook in. Got to do your homework. What are you doing right here? I'm just trying to fill him out. I know that I know right that I could. Right there was the turning point of that first round. Now not as strong as he was. Well, I heard McCormick saying jab him and set things up. Uh, um, I know that he, he knew that I was going to thank him. He saw the clippings of me uh, setting guys up and how intelligent some of the things I was doing, you know. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but, um, you know, he knew that I was going to try to um, capitalize on whatever he was doing. But you can crack, okay, and uh, we're going to take a look at that crack here a little bit later. But uh, with that power like that, does it upset you, Tim, that you're not, you're right now not rated in the top ten of the heavyweight division? No, because people know me, and I have people behind me. Um, when that day comes, you know it'll come. Um, I learned that maybe if I, was, if I was a little bit younger, maybe I would feel that way. But I, I know that I, de that I deserve to be up there and thought about I have history behind me, so I'm not upset. Well, here we're going to take a look at the history of that second round that uh, you knocked out, Daryl Wilson. And, and going into the second round, he felt your power, you felt him, his power in that first. What was on your mind? Well, I know that, that um, I can't go 10 rounds with this guy. I got to get him out of there. He's too strong because at any point in the fight, he can hit me and hurt me. And you wanted to send a statement to other heavyweights. Oh, well, that's, they know I'm going to send a statement. If I, you know, just give me some time. Um, like I'm setting it up now. The statement is going to come. You know, so... Um, what are you looking at? What are you looking for here? I know my trainer told me, Slim Jim Robinson told me, he said, uh, Tim, throw the jab in front of his face, hit him with the jab, let him see the jab, then send that right hand straight down the alley. And they, everything he told me came true. Once that happened and I saw his vulnerability, how easy, how easy that was, and I know that was time to close the book. Was he carrying his hands lower after you tagged him? I don't know. Bingo. I don't know. You knew it when you hit him. Yeah, I knew it when I hit him. I knew it. I knew the last one I hit the same way. He was 6'8", 260, and he was strong. He just pushed me out the way, and I said, I got to get him out there because he's too strong. The last guy fought, and I hit him the same way. He went out the same way, but he got up a little bit sooner. And Darrell Wilson sure went out the same way. Where does this put you, though, now, Tim, in the heavyweight division? I don't know. I'm just trying to be a single parent, trying to take care of the kids. I'm trying my best to get up there. I'm trying my best to get in shape. Um, I know a lot of people care about me. A lot of people love me. And God will give me another chance. 
And then he, if he, if, when he do, I'm just going to try my best not to uh, disappoint everybody. Well, as long as, as long as you, Tim, have that heavyweight power like we saw just there against Daryl Wilson, you're still a force in this division. How about this guy? He, he's been around a long time, and people keep writing him off, but he, uh, I think he's resurrected another career. Barry, Rich? Keeps coming back, doesn't he?